Greetings, unsettled souls. Oh, that was a quick intro. Today, we are going to preserve history, and we are going to allow you to enjoy And to Think I Saw It on Mulberry Street by Dr. Seuss, read by Samuel Earl DeGange. When I leave home to walk to school, Dad always says to me, Marco, keep your eyelids up and see what you can see. But when I tell him where I've been and what I think I've seen, he looks at me and sternly says, your eyesight's much too keen. Stop telling such outlandish tales, start turning minnows into whales. Now what can I say when I get home today? All the long way to school and all the way back, I've looked and I've looked and I've kept careful track. But all that I've noticed, except on my feet, was a horse and a wagon on Mulberry Street. That's nothing to tell of. That won't do, of course. Just a broken down wagon that's drawn by a horse. That can't be my story. That's only a start. I'll say that a zebra was pulling the cart. And that is a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Yes, the zebra is fine, but I think it's tame. Such a marvelous beast with a cart that's so tame. But I think the story would rather be better to hear if the driver I saw were a charioteer and gold and blue chariots something to meet rumbling like thunder down Mulberry Street. No, it won't do at all. A zebra's too small. A reindeer is better. He's fast and he's fleet. And he'd look mighty smart on old Mulberry Street. Hold on a minute, there's something wrong. A reindeer hates the way that it feels to pull a thing that runs on wheels. He'd be much happier instead if he could pull a fancy sled. Hmm. A reindeer and a sleigh. Say, anyone could think of that. Jack or Fred or Joe or Nat or, say, even Jane could think of that. But it isn't too late to make one little change. A sleigh and an elephant. There's something strange. Say, that makes a story that no one can beat. When I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But now I don't know. It doesn't seem right. An elephant pulling a thing that's so light would whip it around in the air like a kite, but he'd look simply grand with a great big brass band. A band that's so good should have someone to hear it, but it's going so fast that it's hard to keep near it. I'll pull up a trailer. I know they won't mind if a man sits and listens while hitched on behind. But now is it fair? Is it fair what I've done? I'll bet those wagons weigh more than a ton. That's really too heavy a load for one beast. I'll give him some helpers. It's two at least. But now what worries me is this. Mulberry Street runs into bliss. Unless there's something I can fix up. There'll be an awful traffic mix-up. It takes police to do the trick to guide them through where traffic's thick. It takes police to do the trick. They'll never crash now. They'll race at top speed. With Sergeant Mulvaney himself in the lead. And he raises his hat as they dash by the stand. The mayor is there and the aldermen too all waving big banners of red, white, and blue. And that is a story that no one can beat when I say I saw it on Mul when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. With a roar of its motor, an airplane appears and dumps out confetti while everyone cheers, and that makes a story that's really not bad. But I still could it still could be better. Suppose that I add a Chinaman who eats with sticks, a big magician doing tricks, 
a ten-foot beard that needs a comb. No time for more, I'm almost home. I swung round the corner and dashed through the gate. I ran up the steps and I felt simply great. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But Dad said quite calmly, just draw up your stool and tell me the sights on the way home from school. There was so much to tell, I couldn't begin. Dad looked at me sharply and pulled at his chin. He frowned at me sternly from there in his seat. Was there nothing to look at, no people to greet? Did nothing excite you or make your heart beat? Nothing, I said, growing red as a beet, but a plain horse and wagon on Mulberry Street. There's a story of imagination for all of you to enjoy. Hit share, hit subscribe, and remember the importance of the First Amendment and literature in the context of history. Good night, friends. God bless. Please share.